Okay, for the electric water heaters, um, it divided into two types, uh, which are the instantaneous water heaters and stored water heaters storage tank type. So these stored water heaters normally we can found at the uh, water pipe of the uh, stored water of the hotels. Eh? Instantaneous water heaters shall be equipped. Uh, we have to equip this instantaneous water heaters with the two pole control switch and its own restore current device or RCD. So RCD is very, very important um, that we have to connect with the water heaters because uh, the function of the RCD to protect the human being as I mentioned before in our class or in our previous class. And then uh, for the storage water heaters uh, can be installed with the isolator and also its own RCD. So water heaters that exceed 3000 watt uh, we have to connect it with the uh, circuit breaker or fuse, uh, for example, MCB, that is around 20 to 30 amps, okay, for the overcurrent protection and with an isolated switch and RCD. So for the electric pumps, uh, normally we can found these motors in our home appliances, for example, uh, fan skid, air cons, fountains, swimming pools, fish ponds, water pumps, uh, that exceeding 373 watt, but not exceed uh, 2230 watt, 38 watt, we can connect it with the uh, rated circuit breaker of fuse, which is 20 to 30 amps, together with an isolator, motor starter, and also 15 amp socket outlet. So the motor starter uh, shall be of direct online type with the appliance together with the contactor overload relay and on off control. Okay, so this uh, when we uh, select the circuit breaker for this motor circuit, we have to make sure that this circuit breaker can capable of withstand the starting current of the motor. So normally starting current is very high when the power, the motor is power on. So this circuit breaker has to be, has uh, can be withstand this high static current. So for the electric bells, uh, so the circuit shall have a push button switch and a DC AC transformer, AC DC transformer. And then we also have ceiling fans in our house and this, our ceiling fans must be confirmed Conform to clause 21.101 of the MS 12-1219-2002 uh, standard, standard with regards to the test on the suspension system of the ceiling fan. Okay, this is the for the industrial de electrical system design. So design components, we have the non-motor circuits, we have the motor circuits, we have the circuit serv serving several motors, we have the panel board, panel boards and switch boards, and we have the transformers. So we look at the, uh, for the first thing is the non-motor circuits, okay? So non-motor circuits, uh, anything electrical appliances that is not connected with the motor circuits, we have to use uh, the, maybe the MCBs, or the MCCB. So MCBs is the uh, mediated circuit breaker uh, and MCCBs is the molded case uh, circuit breaker. So normally MCB you use for the single phase and MCCB we use for the single phase. Okay. So the MCB of use are not allowed to carry 100% rated current on a continuous basis. It is normally limited to 80% of the breaker rating. For example, if you choose fifth, uh, 10 amperes of MCB, so the current cannot flow 10 amperes continuously, must, uh, but must 80% of the breaker rating, which is around 8 amperes. Okay. Okay, for uh, continue for no motor circuits. So in order we want to identify what is the sizing for the circuit breakers or the fuses. So we have to calculate first what is the current rating for the overcurrent. So overcurrent is equivalent to 1.25 times load amperes. 
So 1.25 is referring to the overcurrent capacity of 25%. So 25% plus 100%, so equivalent to 125%, which is 1.25 times with the load amperes. So this is also known as the maximum, okay, maximum current. So how you want to get the maximum current is by using this equation, P equals to IV cos theta, okay. So I, this one is I max, equivalent to P over V cos theta. So by using this I max, so you can get the load amperes, then you times with 1.25, then you can get the sizing for the circuit breaker. And then this one is for the wire or the cable or the conductor. So we also have to calculate the rated current for the conductor so in order to identify what is the sizing that's suitable for the uh, system. So the equation is same with the over current, which is 1.25 times the maximum current. So this P is, equal, is referring to the maximum we have the maximum demand okay and then and then for the in all in order we want to design uh, we want to do the electrical system design one thing that we have to consider uh, is the mccb or mcb is must be lesser less or equal to the rccb or rcd Okay, so we know that this circuit breaker MCB is MCCB, MCB is for the overcurrent protection and the RCCB, RCD is the for the human protection as I mentioned in uh, human protection, okay. So as I mentioned in our previous class, so RCCB, RCD uh, will detect uh, the value of the current for life and neutral. So if it is equivalent, then okay. But if not if it's equivalent, then uh, the RCCB or RCD will be uh, on. And it will uh, cut the, uh, it break the circuit, okay. And then uh, this also, for example, uh, for example, you have the electrical system design here. You have the meters. And then you have the MCB, okay. And then you have the RCCB here, RCCB there, okay? So basically, normally when you choose for the MCB is around uh, 20 amps, for example. So you, you have to choose the RCCB here. Um, uh, you can choose either 20 amps also, or you can choose 32 amps, okay? Two amps. So uh, basically, is uh, when, for example, this RCCB, if let's say it detects uh, the current that it's uh, that it's more than the the limit of the current rating, it will not break the the circuit. It just heat up, okay, and then after that, at the end, it will burn. Uh, it will not break the circuit because the function of the RCCD or RC, uh, the RCD or RCCB is just to detect the uh, the difference from the live and neutral current. Okay, and then uh, one thing that is that need to be considered for the RCCB is the sensitivity. Okay, the sensitivity of the RCCB or RCD. So normally for lighting circuit, we use 100 milliamps or 0 0.1 amps. And the power circuit, we use 30 milliamps or 0 0.0. Okay, so the power circuit uh, is around 0 0.03 amps. Okay, for the water heater, okay, for the water heater, uh, if, we, uh, if we refer at, uh, from the document from uh, Suruhanjaya Tenaga, so basically we have to use uh, 
for the water heater normally is allocated in the wet area which is in the toilet so we have to use the uh, rccb or rcd that more sensitive which is 10 milliamps okay 10 milliamps or 0 0.01 amps so if it detects any differences uh, from life and neutral that is uh, more than 0 0.01 amps so it will trigger the RCD or RCCB. Okay, so here we can see the example. So we have a 240 volt, which is single phase. Okay. So basically, this is the previous years. Basically, we have to we have used 230, right? So it's okay, it's just a uh, questions in our uh, slide here. So this circuit carries a load of 1,200 VA. So VA is the uh, is the apparent power S. And then what is the correct MCB size? So we have to identify what is the uh, rated current for the uh, for the MCB sizing that is suitable for this case. So this is the single phase uh, case. So we have to use the equivalent S equals to IV. So we have to find the I equivalent to S over V. So this is the equation. Okay. Then we just key in here the apparent power and also the voltage. Then we can get the current. So 5 amperes. And then we refer to this equation for the overcurrent. So equivalent to 1.25 times 5. Then we can get 6.25 ampere. So if you refer to the catalog for the circuit breaker, uh, the currently, lah, currently uh, we use uh, 10 the lowest uh, the lowest rating for the circuit breaker is around uh, 10 amps. So we can use 10 amps of the circuit breaker MCB with single pole, okay, for the single phase, okay. So this is for the motor circuits. So motor circuits normally, uh, when the motor start up, normally they will have the motors in rush current. So motor in rush current also is known as the starting current. Okay, this one is also we call as a starting current. So what is starting current? So starting current is the electrical current flowing through the components of a motor after the motor power turns on. And normally starting current is very high. So, so in order to identify, we want to choose the circuit breaker rating sizing for these motors, we have to consider 5 to 7 uh, FLA. So what is uh, seven, uh, FLA? FLA is the full load ampere. Okay, so this is the full load ampere. Normally, uh, is in table form. Okay. So what is full ampere? Normally we have table here. Okay. Then we have here is the horsepower. Here we have the voltage. And then we have the current here. The full load amp. This is all the horsepower. Okay. So we see the next slide uh, to for more details eh? and then we have uh, two protective devices the MCCB and also the time delay fuse 